In an effort to help many homeless veterans in the Brainerd Lakes area, the Brainerd JCs are hosting a 5K this time of the year to show that homelessness isn't seasonal. Sarah Winkleman has a preview of tomorrow's Homeless Heroes 5K. Make sure that this is on the outer layer. Okay. Runners stop by Central Lakes College tonight to pick up their race packets for the 5K tomorrow. Now running a race in the winter might not seem ideal, but there's a special reason for the timing. We're hosting it in December because December's cold. Minnesota is, you know, known to get really cold and that homelessness isn't seasonal. It happens all year round. The Brainerd JCs are trying to create more awareness for local homeless veterans. We have a problem with homelessness in our state. Um, it's something that we've been fighting for years and years and it is going down, but it, it's not done until we're at zero. By bringing the community together. Being a veteran, uh, it's very important to me, um, you know, even though I haven't served with some of the people, uh, we're still a family, a military family. For those that can't make it out tomorrow but would still like to run for the cause, can sign up in their new virtual run that will be available for registration until the end of the month. And they can run on their honor, on their time, and they're still running for the cause and they still like they feel like they're a part of it. No matter where you live, what the weather is like, or what day of the week, you can run to raise funds for the homeless heroes in central Minnesota. I can run um, whenever, wherever, and also I can be able to promote it outside of Minnesota. So anyone can really go on or make a donation or run on their own time. So I think that's really cool. The race begins at 10 tomorrow morning on the Central Lakes College campus. Reporting in Brainerd, Sarah Winkleman, Lakeland News. And if you'd like to brave the cold, registration begins at 8.30 tomorrow morning and virtual registration will remain open until the end of the month. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.